I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over, and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? <laughs> Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I had heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Please make sure your hands are clean before touching anything, all right? All right, then. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen. Aeliad, Wemma, Daedric, or even Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. But can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka. And yet, it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. To audacity! I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psychic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. I'll be the one asking the questions. All you need to know is that the Psijic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, 
and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here. Now, you are going to speak to this What you learn here alarmed. will last you a lifetime. I mean you no harm. Several, if you're talented. It is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthol. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Well, all right then. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here she is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this.
It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is tainted. I'm not sure what just happened, but I assure you I will get to the bottom of it. I have many important things to do. Your concerns are not important. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college, it's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. I can certainly share a bit of what I know. Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, the, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard, delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. That's what led to the accident. I have no idea, but it's fascinating. Assuming it's true, of course. The Isle of Arteum disappeared over a hundred years ago, and no one has seen them since. And yet now, suddenly, they've chosen to contact you. Why, it's intriguing. If nothing else, I'd take it as a compliment. The Sidics have only ever dealt with those they feel worthy. Well, yes. I can't find my Alembic. I suppose I could use another one, but... Well, it sounds silly, but mine has sentimental value. If you happen to see it, would you mind bringing it to me? My Alembic. I need it for some research and can't seem to find it. The key to... Not long, but you can't stop. Also, if your ward isn't negated by an incoming spell, it will reach... Just be careful. Casting wards requires constant concentration, and you can easily find yourself drained of your magical reserves. If you have a moment, could you help me with something? I still need... We're all trying to be... Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Well, I... If that's not enough, I suppose, I have this... No, not that kind of spell. Believe me when I say I wouldn't be asking if it weren't... Oh, good. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still, and don't move. There! Now I... Oh dear, that wasn't supposed to happen. I Do need you... your help with something. Do you something feel alright? Something private. You look very... um... green. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. It's not. It shouldn't be. You'll be back to normal in no time. And when you are, we can try this again, and I'll be sure to get it right. I'd better get going.
perseverance will only lead to disappointment. Still, you persist. Very well. You may enter.
It's no secret that the college is repu- Really? And what might that be? I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not- And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. A most impressive attitude. Keep this up, and you'll do quite well for yourself. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it, though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the imperial authority on magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mzulft, but that's all I remember. 
It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mazulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. I'm not really sure. Made and used by Magnus himself, if you believe those sorts of things. I believe I've heard it said that it's the only thing that could adequately contain his power. The sort of embellishment wizards of ancient times loved to make. Crystal. Gone. <coughs> Find Paratus in Oculory.
Gavros. Is that you? I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them! They've ruined everything. If Gavros is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. It was a brilliant idea, really. Mostly mine, though Gavros took the credit. Secret, though. Official Synod business. Can't talk about it. Are you? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I need the crystal to do anything useful. And I don't have it. You found... How in the world? That's it? That's it? I don't know who you are, but you may have just saved this little project. In fact, who are you anyway? You are, are you? Savos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you. But now you come here expecting something from me? I don't much like this, I'll tell you. But you saved my skin, so maybe I can overlook the past for now. Come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter what Gavro said, this was my idea first. The Council is going to know that when I get back. I was the one who thought of using this... this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves called it. Something unpronounceable, I'm sure. From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the Divine. This machinery, all of it, was designed to collect starlight, and then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? It was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystal. Months of enchantments went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. Magnificent, isn't it? Took an incredible amount of work to get it running again. Now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it.
want something from me? Now the crystal needs to be focused. It was created so far away. We knew that some adjustments would have to be made. Heating and cooling the crystal will cause it to expand or contract, which will change how the light passes through it. You'll need to use spells to do that. Being from the college, I assume you know them already. There should be a few basic tomes around here somewhere in case your training is even more substandard than I've heard. Until next time.